Last one. We look at this. Hey, it looks like a limit, right? Ah, limit. Ah, jeez. I could simplify the limit, right? And I could evaluate doing it the long way. Or I could recognize, does this look like one of my definitions of derivatives that I've been provided? Nope. Hmm, could. What does C represent? C represents a number, a number. So, hmm, that looks like that could be C plus H. So let's figure that out. Has an H in the bottom. That's good. And then, mm, no, it doesn't look like that one. So it looks like, it could be like this one. So let's try to conceptually make sense then of what we're dealing with. Limit as h approaches 0 of c plus h squared minus f of c all over h. Yeah, that kind of looks like you know, that could work. So now what I need to do is kind of figure out, so what is this function that I am, what is this function that I'm doing? We're basically providing c is replacing my variable, right? So let's kind of go back and say, so if I replaced a constant with a variable. So therefore, my variable, let's just call that x. x plus h squared. And if I'm adding an h, if I undo the h, would you guys agree with me Then that's just x squared is my function? Kind of doing a little reverse engineering. Think about it. If you have, if you do f of x plus h, that looks like this. If I do f of c plus h, then that gives me c plus h squared. Right? If I did f of 4 plus h, that equals 4 plus h squared. So what I'm trying to tell you is this, kind of reverse engineered, is really just x squared. Do you guys agree with me? Yes? No? Kind of confusing, I know. It just takes a couple mental, takes some mental jumps to make it. We'll do some more problems with it. It's not a big deal. Guys, we're, we're asked, this is a function. What is this function? All right, let me put it to you this way. Is the function f of x equals the square root of x? Can we cross that function off the list? Yeah, we know it's not that soon. Is the function f of x equals absolute value of x? Can we cross that function off the list? Yeah, is it? Deal with anything with cosine, e to the x, ln of x. Can we cross those functions off? Yes? OK. So let's focus on what we know. We know it's not one of those crazy functions. We know that this sum is some function where it's squared. right? So we have something squared. f of x equals something squared. Would you guys agree with me that's what that function is? Something squared. Well, what are, we, what are we squaring? Well, the f definition of the derivative is c, which is a number, plus h. Right? c is a number plus h. So I'm replacing my x with a number plus h. So if you think about it, you're replacing x with c plus h. So if we just take c plus h and just go back to x, then that's how we get x squared. This function is just x squared. Now, um, let's find the derivative here real quick. f prime of x is equal to 2x squared, or 2x, sorry. Now, what value are we trying to find this derivative at, or this slope at? What is the value of c? What is the value of c? What is the value of c? 4. So in reality, this derivative is really trying to say is, what is the value of x, I'm sorry, what is the value, what is the value of derivative at 4? So we plug 4 in for there and we get 8. Okay. Now, 